It's not a human skull. It's a, I mean, that would be illegal, wouldn't it? Uh, I've been looking for a, a fake human skull, but uh, difficult to come by. Uh, sheep skull. No, that's, that's not blood. Okay, that's red candle wax. I used to have a red candle on the on the forehead of the sheep there, the brow. Anyway, it's um, sheep skull. Okay. okay. None of this. Let's not see any of this. Okay. Okay. See the classic, the classic cliche, cliche. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. He had those lips that oft I kissed. Where be your jibes now, your scoffs, your quirks of merriment that were want to set the tables alight with laughter? It's just cliche. No, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I'd, I'd, perhaps I'd do more something like this. Yeah. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. You hang those lips that oft I kissed. Where be your jibes now, eh? Your scoffs, your quirks of merriment that will want to set the table alight with laughter. Zorro. Read, read, read. It's back to my thing of an actor never being out of work. Always preparing, always working for something, for his benefit, for the benefit of the audience. Even people in the street, passers by, their faces light up when a, a classically trained, svelte actor walks past. An evening's reading, very relaxing stuff. Uh, Can't retails, Oxford World Classics edition. Whilom, as all the stories tell in us, there was a duke that hechte Theseus. Of Athenes he was lord and governor, and in his time a swish a conqueror, that greater was there none under the sun. Full many a rich country had he won, with what is wisdom and chivalry, he conquered all the reign of Femine. I mean, that's, that's typical of uh, the Knight's Tale. That's, uh, this Palamoon, that thoughts that thug his heart, eh? he felt a cold assured, suddenly glad, eh? for he quick eh, no longer wall he bed. The convent, eek, lay on the pavement, weeping and hairy in Christ's mother there. Eh? And after that they raised him forth, been went, and took away this martyr for his bed. I mean, it's just beautiful stuff. But, uh, Geoffrey Chaucer. I mean, that's a gentle evening's reading, relaxing. Keeps the words flowing through an actor's brain. Pleasure and business all at once. That's, that's the way I see it. That's, um, what else have we got typical here? Okay, um, J.B. Priestley. Time on the Conways. I have been here before, the linden tree, and perhaps the most famous of all, an inspector calls. I've actually never done any of them, but um, I, 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 I would still read, you know, I read plays that I haven't done. You tell me, Alan, if there's time later on, we're not going to be trampled on by any of Madge's Mrs. whats her names and we don't care how brilliant they are, do we, Alan? <laughs> I 
1988.